Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Triple TV, where we will be doing a product review on the Acubo 2.0. Thank you all for joining me again today on this Tuesday edition of Triple TV. I'm, see, I'm doing good. I'm being more consistent. Hope you all are enjoying the episodes of the 2021 year. I think they're getting a whole lot better, so if you think they're getting a whole lot better, hit that thumbs up. Today we're going to be doing a, uh, a review on the Acubo 2.0, like I said. I just want to start off by saying the concept behind this thing is a great idea. And I'm going to give you all the pros to it and all the cons to it. And at the end, I'm going to give you my honest opinion of it. First, I want to say this thing, it, it it breaks down and how it breaks down is you lift that up and then you lift the whole thing up on each side here just like so breaks over like that and that breaks over just like that so you can put it in your truck with you whenever you go to deer camp like if you're you know on a camper or something like that or hotel room or whatever so you can like take this thing anywhere it's easy to take her out I keep it left up and uh, I hang it on my wall up there so whenever I go to use it I just pull it down and start shooting it that right there I mean, it's a space saver and to set it back up you just put everything back like so and then there you have it it is good to go there is no break point. I mean, you got to pull this thing back, and you can pull it back as far as you want to. It goes from 10 to 70 pounds in uh, draw weight, and you set your draw weight by turning this knob up here and this knob over here on this side right here. And to, uh, to release it, there's a button right there to release it and up here. So you got to hit them at the same time, and it releases. you got to make sure that your middle right here is in the middle of the string stopper and it's got a string stopper it's got a place right here for a stabilizer it's got a laser pointer which i'm not really sure what that's on there for and then of course the place for your cell phone because it is an app so you got to go to uh the google play or, or whatever you have on iphones i'm not real familiar with iphones to uh, to download the app and then um it's acubo to uh, Acubo 2020 is what it is. Uh, you got to download that and then you can get started. Once you get all that downloaded and uh, put on your phone and saved on your phone, then it's like it's like a sim game. You got to turn around to see where your targets are, see where your animals are that you are hunting, uh, whatever, stuff like that. As far as the app goes, let's talk about the app. There is a place in the app where you go to and you could either... Uh, have the no pins on there and that's for more of your ins instinctive shooters it's got a place for for a one pin three pin and a five pin for your sights so I like that I mean that's that's a really cool thing right there you can either shoot targets 3d targets or animals now uh, I got a list here of what all places that you could hunt uh, you could hunt uh, the Midwest, Australia, Africa, dangerous game, from a tree stand, a western expedition, or Alaska. There's also a, a spot in there where you can go bow fishing. You can do it in the pond, you can do it in the southern marsh, or you can shoot flying carp. You can build your own 3D range, and you can play archery golf, which I'm assuming is like frisbee golf. And I want to add, it is a good workout. It's a very good workout. And you can shoot it, um, you know, whenever it's raining outside. You can shoot it inside whenever it's, you know, 100 degrees outside. And you don't want to get out there. The tree stand part of it's really cool because I got a little flat spot right here on my couch. And I'll get on that thing. And, I mean, it's like you're in a deer stand. You know, it, it's really neat. Now, this is where we're going to make a turn. The pawn and paper target range is the only two things on there that's free. Now these are the cons. Quite simply put, in-app purchase. In my opinion, if you spend $130 on something, you should be able to get that app and everything in there for free. That's just my personal opinion. I know these guys have got to make money on these things. 
I don't know how much these things cost to build or nothing like that, so I do understand that part of it. But you spend that much money on something, you should be able to get the stuff for free. Everything in there is $2.99. I did purchase the deer stand for $2.99. Everything else is $2.99. That is a con. You know, once again, you spend $130 on something, you expect to be able to do things for free. Another thing, you better know how to tie a D loop. I shot this thing three times and my D loop popped off, so I need to uh, tie that back on. So you better know how to tie a D loop. I mean, I, I can instinctive shoot, you know, with it, just kind of bringing it back to there, you know, and that's building my arms up, you know, it's building my bow strength up, so that is a good part of it. I like shooting with the release, so, you know, you better learn how to tie a D loop. The app itself is very glitchy and very buggy, and it took me five times of downloading it and deleting it in order for me just to get in there and finally get things set up for my bow. So that right there was something that I didn't like very much. And what I mean by glitchy is when I finally got it downloaded and I went to the target range that was for free, you know, I'd go to draw it back, I'm holding right there where I'm supposed to, I shoot it, bam, missed. You know, because it's so glitchy. You know, I do like the fact that you got to turn and, and stuff like that. I think that's really neat. But I don't like, you know, how the deer's coming in, you go back to draw back on it, you're right there, you know, where you're supposed to be. You go to shoot it and then it just and then you just miss or whatever don't even shoot you know so I, I did not I do not like that part of it once again you spend $130 on something then you've got to do an in-app purchase it needs to be running you know top-notch you know just my opinion so as of right now after everything that I told you guys I mean there is a lot more pros to it than there is cons you know it, it is a good concept it is a good idea you know the whole thing is a great idea but until they fix the bugs and fix the glitches, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Once they fix the glitches and all the bugs in it, I will personally give it an 8.5 out of 10. And if all the stuff in the app was free, I would give it a 10 out of 10 because it is a good idea. You know, like I said, it is a good idea. There's just so much glitching to it, you know. It, that's that's the problem that I have with it and the in-app purchase. I think that's going to do it for today's vlog. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, Thursday, i got a different episode coming up for you guys. I'm going to do a DIY fishing pole holder. I'll get it built, get it put up in here, film it all. Hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was informative they are good tools and it will be a good tool and even though that the app is so glitchy it's still a good tool in order for me just to get my bow strength built up so you know next next fall whenever it comes time to deer hunt you know with the bow i'll be ready to go you know just sitting there pulling that thing back don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that share button don't forget to turn the notifications on the little bell right there in the corner hit that notification button and you guys will know whenever i upload new episodes of Triple TV. So until next time, I'll see y'all on the next one.